Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stop loss on the Binance Spot Exchange. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. To set a stop loss, come down to your order panel, toggle from limit over to stop limit. The first thing we need to do is set a stop condition that tells Binance to place a limit order to sell our coins. So let's head up here to the chart, and for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that we're looking at this price action right here, and maybe we want to set a stop condition somewhere in that area. So what we could do is grab a horizontal from the drawing tools, I'm going to go ahead and mark out these candle bodies right here, something like that. We can see in very recent price action that we got this candle body closure up above that level, then it was back tested as support several times, and then Bitcoin ultimately pushed off of it and moved to the upside. So perhaps we're thinking to ourselves, if Bitcoin was to retrace and close below that level, maybe that's a pretty good sign that Bitcoin's getting ready to move back down to somewhere in this area here, or perhaps even lower. So maybe we want to use that horizontal as our stop condition. We can see on the Y axis of the chart that there's a price point correlating to that horizontal at 20,615. So we'll come down here to the order panel and we'll type that into the stop price. 20,615. This price point is going to be the condition that tells Binance to place a limit order to sell our coins. Next, we need to choose a limit price that Binance will place an order at to sell our coins if our stop price gets hit. So let's come back up here to the chart and maybe we're looking at the bottom of this wick right here and we're thinking, you know what? Maybe somewhere just below that is appropriate to set our limit order. So let's go ahead and grab a horizontal here Let's mark the bottom of the wick, something like that. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart, there's a price point correlating to that wick at 20,388. So let's go just a little bit lower than that. We'll come down here to limit price and let's type in 20,250. This should allow for enough breathing room between the limit price and the stop price. We want to make sure that Binance has enough time to place our order if our stop price gets hit. If price action's moving too fast and manages to get through those levels before the order can hit the order book, then our coins won't sell. We'll just simply have a limit order to sell sitting on the order book as price is decreasing to the downside. Then we would need price to come back up and hit that limit order in order to sell our coins. So it's important to leave enough room between the stop price and the limit price. Next, we need to choose the amount of the asset that we wish to sell if our stop gets hit. And for this demonstration, I'll just set this to 100%. And when you have things set up the way that you want it, you just simply click on sell. Then you'll get an order confirmation pop-up window confirming the details of your stop loss. We can see our stop price here, 20,615 as intended. If that price gets hit, a limit order to sell will be placed at 20,250. If everything's the way that you were intended, you just simply click on confirm. Now we've placed our stop limit. If price action begins to retrace and hits our stop price right here, an order will be placed to sell our coins at 20,250 or better. If there's a better price available in the order book when our stop gets hit, our coins will sell for a better price. And we can see our open order down here under open orders. Here's where we can find the details of everything. If at any point you wanna cancel your stop order, just come over here to this little trash icon, give it a click. And as you can see, I've canceled the stop loss. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on your preferred time frame and come up with levels that are most appropriate for your stop loss idea. But that's how you get it done. And there you have it. That's how you set up a stop loss on the Binance Spot Exchange. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also check out my other Binance tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.